Welcome to this lecture on SolidCam, the integrated CAM software for SolidWorks, Inventor, and SolidEdge. This lecture will be an overview of four and five axis milling functionality. In the curriculum of Sales Associate Certification, this lecture provides essential knowledge about these milling functions inside SolidCam. Four and five axis milling follows the previous lectures as a graduated step up to higher functionality. Over the years, SolidCam has provided the best toolpaths and machining technologies on the market, and it's become the industry leading CAM solution for all CNC users. SolidCam offers a wide range of toolpath solutions to effectively cut any shape. The ability to program four- and five-axis machines makes SolidCam one of the top CAM systems on the market. Incorporating four- and five-axis milling allows for more complex and precise machining compared to traditional three-axis milling alone. Four- and five-axis milling machines utilize additional axes that allow for rotation on the extra axes. This enables the machine to access difficult-to-reach areas of the workpiece with greater accuracy and efficiency. This technology is particularly useful for creating complex shapes and geometries, such as curved surfaces, undercuts, and angled features that would otherwise be difficult or impossible to produce with three-axis milling. Additionally, fourth-axis milling can help reduce setup time increase productivity, and it can improve the overall quality of the machined parts. Four-axis milling uses three linear axes, known as X, Y, and Z, and an additional rotary axis, known as the A axis. This single rotational axis allows the machining of multiple sides of the workpiece in a single setup. By clamping the workpiece only once, machine downtime is eliminated and greater part accuracy is achieved. This is especially true for indexial operations, but simplification and efficiency are not the only benefits of using a rotary axis. Often, sufficient part accuracy cannot be achieved if the workpiece requires different clamping in multiple setups. More often than not, this causes misaligned through holes that require drilling from two opposing sides. This also commonly causes deviations in surface relationships. There are also shapes such as worms, cams, and similar complex shapes that simply require a rotary axis in order to be machined correctly and efficiently. A four-axis milling solution is often a special device added to the table of a three-axis vertical milling machine. The rotary aligns horizontally on the table and uses the vertical spindle to machine. The rotary axis can also be an integral part of the CNC machine instead of acting as an addition. In this case, the table will have the ability to rotate with the spindle oriented in a horizontal position. These machines are called horizontal milling machines, and these machines are designed to handle large or heavy workpieces. Tombstones can also be added to four-axis milling machines to allow for the efficient machining of multiple workpieces. Mill turn machines also have the capability of performing four-axis milling. In summary, four-axis milling uses four axes, X, Y, and Z for linear motion, and the rotary A axis. The additional fourth axis allows the machining of multiple sides in one clamping or setup. Greater machining efficiency, as well as part accuracy, can be achieved. It's especially beneficial for indexed operations, and its greatest value is higher accuracy and eliminating downtime. Four-axis milling can be performed on a three-axis vertical milling machine with an additional rotary axis, also on horizontal milling machines, as well as on mill-turn machines. 
5-axis milling uses three linear axes, x, y, and z, and two rotary axes designated as a and c, a and b, or b and c. The two additional rotary axes allow the cutting tool to access multiple sides of the workpiece in a single setup without the need to unclamp, manually rotate, and reclamp the workpiece, much greater efficiency and improved workpiece accuracy can be achieved. The two additional axes allow designers and engineers the freedom to create much more imaginative parts that can easily be machined. In mechanical engineering, multiple combinations of five-axis implementation can be found. The combination in this slide is one of the most common five-axis configurations, but this is far from the only available one. If you recall, we touched on how to work with indexial five-axis milling in the 2.5D lecture. Indexial five-axis, known as 3 plus 2, are at the heart of SolidCam's 2.5D milling module. To program indexial 5-axis on a 5-axis milling machine, you only need the 2.5D module and a post-processor that can handle 5 axes of motion. The main advantage is the reduced number of fixtures required to machine the workpiece. By only clamping the part once, greater accuracy in the finished product can be achieved. Also, greater machining efficiency is achieved by the tool always being in the appropriate relationship to the workpiece. In indexial 5-axis, the rotary axes are only used to position the workpiece to the correct orientation. Machining happens only using the X, Y, and Z axes. 5-axis simultaneous, on the other hand, can machine using all five axes at the same time in a single controlled movement. Shapes that would otherwise be difficult to machine using other methods can be machined with ultimate speed and precision. The impeller is the perfect example of the types of parts that use the five axis simultaneous method as it's a very complex shape. Let's use an impeller to demonstrate a simultaneous five axis toolpath. We can see that the tool vector is constantly moving and it changes at every step of the toolpath. This motion is necessary to avoid collisions with the impeller blades and to cut the features that are not visible when viewing the impeller from above. The shape of this impeller does not allow for any other method of machining. The machine shown uses a classic table-table kinematic where both rotation axes are on the table. With increased manufacturing in the areas of aerospace and automotive, the need for production of workpieces with complex geometries has grown significantly. These types of parts represent a cutting-edge chapter of CNC milling. Having five controllable axes gives the CNC manufacturers more freedom in how they can kinematically design a five-axis machining center. In summary, both fourth and fifth axis are used for greater accuracy and machining flexibility. Five-axis simultaneous moves the cutting tool in all axes in one controlled motion. It saves time by eliminating the need to unclamp the workpiece and manually index it to a new orientation. It allows the machining of complex shapes that would be difficult to achieve with other methods. It's a necessity for the aerospace manufacturing industry. And there are a wide variety of kinematic layouts for five-axis machining centers. Pictured on this slide are workpieces that are notorious for their need for five-axis milling. Five-axis milling in SolidCam contains a wide variety of simultaneous five-axis cutting strategies. Flow line cutting produces a toolpath that follows the natural shape of the workpiece. Multi-surface finish machining keeps the tool normal to the surface 
or with specified lead and lag to provide a smooth surface finish. There's advanced tool tilting control and direct control on side tilting and lead lag ang angles. There are automatic collision avoidance strategies that check each part of both the tool and holder. Multi-axis rest roughing efficiently removes the remaining material of the larger diameter cutting tool previously used. Realistic 3D machine simulation with comprehensive collision and axis limit checking is provided with the 5-axis module. There are three tiers of 5-axis bundles available for sale with SolidCam. Some of the modules inside these bundles can be purchased separately. The 5-axis standard bundle contains the basic 5-axis functionality. Using generic 5-axis of the standard module, programming can be performed on any type of part. However, doing so is more complicated than when using specialized operations. Such operations include Auto 3 plus 2 roughing. When machining complicated shapes on a 5-axis machine, SolidCam will automatically create toolpaths based on the workpiece and the cutting tool definitions. In addition, it's also possible to generate the toolpath directions automatically. Rotary Finishing 4X This is designed to mill parts on a 4-axis machine. It can be used to mill cylindrical parts, including bottle molds and cores, electrodes, jewelry such as rings, and it can be used in woodworking. 3 to 5 axis conversion. This will convert existing 3 axis toolpaths to 5 axis toolpaths, and it allows you to keep the tool extension short when machining tall or deep shapes. The holder is always checked against the material that needs to be machined and will tilt its vector to avoid gouging into the workpiece. Contour 5 axis machining. This provides toolpath generation based on wireframe input and it works without the need to define any machining surfaces. SolidCam has a specialized operation called edge trimming, though this operation can effectively accomplish a similar result. Multi-axis drilling. This generates drilling toolpaths by automatically detecting hole geometries in the part and then creating five-axis drilling motion. SWARF, or Sidewall Axial Relief Feed Machining. Also known as flank milling, this works on linear surfaces and toolpaths are created by dragging a line along a curve. It is used for machining fluid parts for turbo engines as well as aeronautical parts. Geodesic machining. This generates toolpaths with constant stepover for any group of surfaces or solid body regardless of the type or shape of the surface. Next is the 5-axis professional bundle, which includes four additional specialized operations. They are rotary machining. This generates 4-axis roughing and finishing rotary toolpath for screws. Bull nose, ball nose, or flat end mills can all be used. Multi-axis machining. This creates a toolpath that can be used to machine pocket-shaped geometries. The toolpath is calculated using either solid or surface geometries for input, and the only definition requirement is selection of the boundary and bottom surfaces. Everything else is automatic. Edge breaking. This will automatically locate all edges of a workpiece, and it will create a deburring toolpath to smooth the edges. The user can also input the edges to be machined for additional control of the desired toolpath. Edge trimming. This is a highly automated algorithm designed to trim the edges of thin materials. The toolpath that's generated is commonly seen in the aerospace industry when cutting composite materials. The automotive industry and consumer applications of vacuum formed parts can be trimmed using this operation. Here is an example of a very typical application for trimming.
Next is the 5-axis premium bundle, which includes two additional specialized and very complex operation types. Multi-blade machining. This is designed specifically for parts such as impellers. The user specifies geometries such as hub, blades, and shroud, and the system will automatically calculate toolpath for both roughing and finishing of the workpiece. This is a very specific and highly sophisticated machining strategy. Port machining. This is used to create roughing and finishing toolpaths for port type geometries. Features such as tube machining or engine port machining are applications that use this very specific strategy. Now let's summarize this lecture. We have three 5-axis bundles available. The operations highlighted in blue can be purchased separately outside of their respective bundles. Some can be sold as an add-on to the 2.5D module, while others will require the purchase of the 5-axis standard bundle. In 4- and 5-axis machining, advanced simulation is a necessity. This will allow the user to verify the toolpath prior to post-processing. With 3-axis machines being so popular, most users can understand what is happening, and advanced simulation is not as critical. With 4- and 5-axis machines, on the other hand, the additional rotary axes increase complexity, and crashing the CNC machine becomes a greater risk. Advanced simulation allows the SolidCam user to visualize and verify all program toolpaths quickly and efficiently. This reduces the risk of gouging the workpiece or crashing the machine. Machine simulation gives the SolidCam user the ability to simulate a full representation of their machine with devices and tools set up in a 3D environment. All toolpaths can be verified exactly as it would be handled on their machine before the post-processing begins. Additionally, an advanced 4 or 5-axis post-processor configured to the machine is required for both indexial and simultaneous. Yet such post-processors are easy to do with SolidCam. Thank you for your attention. Good luck on your test questions and see you at the next lecture.